Hello, friends. Welcome to Tabletop Tonight. My name is Ruel Gaviola, and it is Monday Fun Day, or as I like to call it, me, myself, and Monday. This is a totally impromptu stream. I wanted to uh, stream earlier tonight, but um, I was just running a little late. Um, I played uh, Villainous over on with our friends at Gen Con TV, and we've had this Villainous tournament going on for the last month or so, and um, yours truly ended up winning. I, I didn't expect that, so... Yay, me. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I want to thank uh, Kelsey and Marcus over there at uh, Gen Con for making that happen. Uh, thank all the um, uh, participants, um, Abby, Javion, uh, the Brothers Murph, uh, Paula Deming, and myself. And I hope I'm not missing anyone, but uh, we, I had such a great time. It was so fun playing Villainous. And I want to sh send a special shout out to my buddy Oscar. Uh, he helped me relearn the game uh, over a month ago. So thanks, Oscar. I'm going to be sharing my victory trophy with you, friend. Uh, but anyways, hope you're doing well, uh, everybody. It is Monday Fun Day. You see GB Glazer in the house. Thank you, GB, for uh, hanging in, uh, hanging in here. Um, and also want to say hello to Gab ZD. I, um, I believe you're new here, but thank you, uh, Gab, for joining us. Uh, Mrs. Gab says I should wear my crown. I am going to put on my crown uh, real quick. Uh, you know, thanks to Michelle for making this uh, crown, which I wore while I played. So there is the championship crown. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> now time to challenge Sam from the Lord of the Board. I am not that good. Um, Sam would wipe the floor with me. And I had, I, I've got to be uh, honest, I was very fortunate to pick the character that I did. Shout out to um, all of my supporters in um, on Discord. Uh, they helped me pick Prince John. Uh, I'm, I've played the game a couple times, but I wasn't familiar with... I wasn't like hardcore familiar with all the strategies and all the different characters. They said Prince John would be a good one. I like Prince John only because I love that Robin Hood cartoon when I was a kid. I remember watching it. And um, so I just went with, hey, I like uh, Robin Hood, the, the uh, animated movie. So I'll go with Prince John. And it turned out to be for that uh, particular format. Um, it was a timed format. It, his um, strengths were really, it was, it was really tailored for that type of tournament. That being said, I did lose to Ursula today, so I went, I believe I went 2-1 and one or 3-1 and one, uh, throughout the tournament, so um, I was, it was it was a close game, I needed one more turn in, in order for me to win, but again, the timing shut off right there, but um, I had a lot of fun, so uh, thanks again to Gen Con TV for having me, um, I'm going to take off the crown now. Um, I'm excited about this, because this game uh, from Czech uh, Games Edition, CGE, the Lost Ruins of Arnak. I picked this up um, about a month ago. I know it's uh, sold out um, everywhere, but thankfully I was able to get it through in a trade with my friend uh, Patrick. So shout out to you, Patrick. Uh, thank you for the trade. We traded a bunch of games, and this was one of them that I received. Um, I really enjoy it. It is, well, let me back up a little bit. I have enjoyed my uh, partial playthrough. Uh, so far, I had learned it um, earlier or late last night, early this morning. I learned the rules, went through a few turns, and said, Hey, I really enjoy this game. It is a combination of deck building and worker placement. Um, I love worker placement games. Deck building games, I've found over the years that I enjoy them more when it has a board, it has another element, like when deck building is one of the mechanisms in the game, rather than a pure deck builder like Dominion or um, you know Star Realms. I, I enjoy those games. But if I'm going to do deck building, I prefer it with something on the board like uh, Trains, Clank, um, what's the other one, the the uh, Dungeons and Dragons one, Tyrants of the Underdark. I really love those games. They use deck building in different ways. Uh, Clank has sort of got like push your luck and a dungeon crawl. Trains is basically Dominion meets Ticket to Ride. And then Tyrants of the Underdark is um, deck building and area control. This one, deck building and worker placement, it's... I think it's really good, and we're going to uh, play it tonight. So, uh, Board Games Man, thank you for joining us. Has redeemed Bruno Treat. Yes, we'll get the Bruno Treats out. Um, I think I got it working this time. Yes, there it is, right there on my head. There's Bruno getting the treat. <laughs> thank you, Board Games Man. Beyond Dead 13 is in the house. Thank you. Um, yeah, just a totally impromptu stream. Um, I was. It's a little messy here. I don't know if y'all can see the mess back here. I'm redoing stuff in the gaming library slash gaming office. And um, hopefully we'll get even more cleaned up as uh, the week goes on. But I'm just going to jump right into it, uh, friends. I'm going to go right to the board. Now, this board is a beast. Uh, this, I mean, it's, I, I was trying to do it like, you know, um, 
was it vertical uh you know up and down like the boards the way it's supposed to be but it's it, it just took up my the entire table here i've got the dummy player here i'm i'm playing a solo game by the way um this is the dummy player the ai here this is my player board y'all can't even see it um i do have I, I didn't set up so i did set up this like this is the temple track here uh so i i set up that there so you can see it and then this is these are where all the tiles are going to be like um the locations that you're going to explore i have a little close up on that uh, but i don't have the uh, player board i'll throw it on the green screen real quick um the player board, this is my player board here. The AIs is very similar. Uh, basically, it's a, a place to put your cards here. Um, and then you're going to be placing the tiles that your bonus tiles and stuff you collect are going to go here. And if you decide to use them here as a free action, you're going to be able to convert resources. Uh, if these are left open, then they get you get points at the end of the game. If they're covered, then you do not get those bonus points. Okay. Uh, so we, or I start... Just like in a two-player game, I have uh, six cards. There's, these are basic cards. Uh, the basic cards are uh, you get two exploration, okay? Um, and you're going to notice this symbol here. And then this this symbol here means a free action. You may do any number of free actions before, during, or after your main action. You do one main action per turn. Here's another card, funding. Uh, this would you immediately get... You can use it for the immediate action or free action. This will get you a coin. Or you can use this symbol here in order to go explore or do a dig. Okay, so you go over here to dig, and that's to get resources. You go up here, and you exp um, explore. You're going to discover uh, new um, uh, locations. Like these five locations are the base. And then you have the other locations here. Oh, let me throw this on here. Whoops. Um, so as you'll see here, these are the locations you can go to. To go here, you're going to turn in, like, for instance, I have this um, building, uh, this funding here. It has a ship on it. I can go to this location here by spending that ship. Now, you'll notice here, in order to um, discover, you're going to have to spend three time tokens in, a, in addition. There's a couple of currencies going on here, which is really neat. You've got this currency here, which is time uh, here, and then you have the actual uh, coins here as well. Uh, hey Panda, uh, thanks for joining us. Yeah, total uh, impromptu stream, Amanda. And also, hi Kumi, thank you. Uh, Arnett, good afternoon, party people, thank you. Um, it is good evening here where I'm in, in Southern California. Uh, also, finally, uh, I've had the fear cards. These are basically just um, the cards that clog up your deck. You can use them for the boot, and the boot is going to allow you to dig in any of these areas here. So you, you would take your one person here spend the boot and then you get uh this resource here in this case an arrowhead now this is a pretty tight game i was surprised you only have two workers i'll be yellow today uh, you only have two um explorers or, or adventurers right to go to the spots and what you're going to do you're going to do other actions as well and you're going to really try to work those free actions in um along with your main actions so let's look at the different action spots. I just talked about how you can go here to dig to get resources. You can go up here to discover new places. And what you do, you would spend the time token to go in this section. This is uh, section number one. Um, and then you would just reveal the tile and it goes here. So you would also get this bonus here. This is worth three points at the end of the game. You also get an immediate time token. Then you flip it over and put it on your player board. And then this from now on, so if I was here, um, now... A guardian comes in. This is basically the monster. The monster or guardian goes here. So from now on, uh, if you want to, if if or I mean, if you want to uh, defeat or you know vanquish this guardian, you have to turn in these here two time and one arrowhead. Then you will vanquish it. And if you can see, you get a, a little bonus as well. Uh, you this goes into your on your player board, and anytime you can spend this um, to use it, use that symbol. Okay. Um, so that's how that works. At the end of the turn, the end of the round, if you're there with a, um, a guardian, you will get a fear card right into your um, deck. Okay, so that's, again, it's the way they're going to clog your deck. Okay, uh, let me put the monster back. Whoops. And shuffle this back into the, just throw in the middle thing there. And that's that. 
okay? So you can dig, you can discover lands, uh, you can buy cards, okay? There are um, a couple of different cards, that, uh, different types. So you have, on this side, you have the artifacts. Uh, this round marker, this is really interesting. I like how they did this. This indicates the round. We're only playing five rounds, okay? Uh, this is the round, and on the left of this um, little uh, totem or whatever, you're gonna have artifacts. These artifacts, I like these. This is a really cool thing about the artifacts. These artifacts, you may use it immediately. So you get to do this, when you buy it, it's gonna cost you four time. You pay, you do this ability, pay money to activate any two different um, sites. Um, and then at the end of the game, you'll have this uh, two victory points. Now this goes into your, basically your play area, your discard, but you get to do the action immediately. Now later, when the card recycles, because it is a deck building game, if you want, when this card comes up, you may spend this resource in order to do that power again. This is a tablet, or you can just use this here to um, go discover or dig, okay? And then, that's the artifact, then on the right side of this um, round marker are the items. These here cost money, not time, and these are, go into your deck as usual, like any deck builder. This one, it costs three coins, and then this will give you a free action when it comes into your uh, car, um, into your uh, in your hand. Uh, you get two time tokens. You may also uh, use it to get the uh, two boats there in order to do more exploring. Okay. And uh, let me look, show you the player aid here. So on your turn, you perform one main action. You dig a site, which we we're just talking about. Use its effect. Discover a new site. That's what we're talking about. Going up to these other lands. Over a common guardian. That's like fighting monsters. Buy an item that's on the right side of the board there. You put it on the bottom of your deck. Buy an artifact that's the left side that is put in your play area. Use this effect, ignoring the cost for when you buy the artifact. Uh, play a card. This is a free action if it has the um, lightning bolt icon. And uh, you also have pass. You will take no more turns this round. Uh, you just pass and that's it. It's a hard pass. And then the lightning bolt is the number of free actions. And hello, Gen Con TV. Thanks for the raid. Uh, let me see. Where's my rating at? I don't know where my... Oh, there it is. Gen Con TV. Thank you for the raid. Uh, folks, if you're new here, this is Tabletop Tonight. My name is Ruel Gaviola. Tonight is me, myself, and Monday. This is when I occasionally uh, do a stream where I solo games. So I want to shout out um, Gen Con TV for uh, raiding me. I was actually on Gen Con TV earlier today, and um, I, I've got to do a little... i, I got to do a little bragging or boasting. I, I won the Villainous Tournament. I was so happy. Uh, thanks, Gen Con TV, for um, hosting a great tournament like that. We we had so much fun. I really enjoyed just hanging out um, with uh, Abby and Javion and the Brothers Murph, um, Paula Deming. It was, and Kelsey as well. Uh, shout out to Kelsey and Marcus for um, putting together such a cool little tournament. And, you know, I mean, it was... I. I would played uh, Villainous before. I haven't played it. Um, I mean, I've I played it the most I've ever played this last month. It's great. Uh, such a fun game. And, hey, I won. So it was, like, super cool. <laughs> Thank you, Con TV, for the raid. If you're new here, folks, um, I play games Monday, or actually Tuesday through Thursdays, uh, 7 p.m. Pacific. But I do the occasional impromptu stream. Uh, this is one of them. I have the uh, Viking helmet because I do analog alerts here, too. So... Uh, thank you, Gen Con TV, so much for the raid. Um, and, hey, we also have a pug named Bruno. He's not here right now. But every now and then, when you spend um, points here at the channel, he'll do stuff like this. We can, you can give him a treat. There you go, Bruno. Good boy. And, <laughs> Keshel, thank you for the congrats. Yes, I was so happy about that. I was... I was probably way too happy about it, but uh, thank you. It was I was very very honored to be uh, asked to be part of it, and I had such a good time with everyone. Um, just so much fun, you know. It's we can't get together in real life, folks, right? So this is what we do. We play games through the internet, and it's just really fun interacting. And you know, it just reminds me we're getting closer and closer to the day when we can meet again in person, right? So. Hopefully the vaccines keep going as well as, well as they are going. Um, but yes, thank you, uh, Kumi, for the walk, Bruno. There is Thank you. Ta hey, there's my face. <laughs> Thanks for taking Bruno for a walk. <laughs> and friends, we are playing the Lost Ruins of Arnak. This is from Czech Games uh, Edition. I'm going to be playing the solo game tonight. So uh, hang out. Let's, let's play the solo game together. I'm going to take off the Viking hat. Uh, again, thanks to my wife, Michelle, for making this. And let's get back to the game. Whoop. 
there it is. So I've just gone over the explanation. This is a deck building slash um, worker placement game. And what I'm going to do is, you can't see it here, it's off screen, but I have my player board and I have the dummy player board as well. And I was getting to the point part where I'm going to talk about the uh, dummy player. What they do is, there's a, they have a stack of 10 action tiles. And on their turn, we're going to alternate. They're going to go first, I'm going to go second. They're going to just reveal this and it's almost all of them are like just blocking spaces where that I can't use. For instance, this one here, they're going to put one of their adventurers. They have three different color adventurers. Uh, they're going to put on a space that blocks an arrowhead. So, for instance, this. So I could not go to this turn. And then there's other ones like this one. Uh, they would buy the least expensive artifact. Uh, this one here, they would do research and then they would um, discard one of the assistants. Let me talk about that. I just one thing I did not talk about was uh, the temple track. So the temple track is here. Okay, I'm just going to put a little... Put that up there and what you're doing you're trying to move your you have i have a magnifying glass and a notebook i'm trying to move those up along the track the dummy player the ai only has a magnifying glass you move these up the track by spending the resources okay and you can only go to ones that are adjacent to your um uh, space on the first space you can go either left or right if i went left i would pay a time token and an arrowhead if i go right i would pay um a a jewel or um, a gem and then the dummy player they just move up as w they move up as well uh, there are some rules for um, placement which we'll talk about as we get in the game uh, let me shuffle up the tiles for the dummy player and as you'll see here uh, you move up and you're going to get bonus tiles like this one allows you to draw a card and you just and then you discard the bonus tile. You'll also get a bonus depending on which piece you move up here. So if I had moved my magnifying glass here, I get a coin. And then I may move my, on the ne uh, next turn, if I have those resources, I can move my notebook and that would get me an assistant. The assistants are um, basically, let me see if I can show you this. Um, the assistants are tiles. They give you uh, free actions and uh, once you, you can do it on any time you turn. Uh, when you first get this, this assistant, I would get three coins. And then anytime on a uh, next turn, I can get two coins. Then I would exhaust my assistant. There's ways to unexhaust as well. But um, if you don't, then at the end of the round, for the next round, you can ex uh, unexhaust them and be ready. Uh, there are also ways to upgrade them to the other side, the gold side, which is just a better version of that. And I'll talk about that as we get into the game. And... One thing about the one rule about this, your magnifying glass must always be equal to or greater than your um, notebook. So the notebook cannot go ahead. It always has to be the magnifying glass. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the player rate again real quick. So uh, play a card, research. That's what we we're just talking about, research. So we'll one with the magnifying glass. And then number of free actions, that's a lightning bolt. At the end of the round, reset the board, advance the cards, and start the new round. You'll see that thing on the right side there, hire a pilot, that's the travel hierarchy. At any time of your turn, you may spend two coins to get a, a um, plane. The plane can do any type of travel, whether it's uh, basically a wild, it's all encompassing. It can be the car, the ship, or the boot. And what those are used for is when you move up uh, the, um, ex as you're doing your discovery, you know, you have to spend like a car to go to this location, uh, two cars here uh, in the level two section, and here's a boat. Uh, the plane can cover any one of these symbols, okay? Uh, the basic ones are down here at the bottom. Those are the uh, the ones for the boots. Okay, uh, so let me get a drink. Uh, folks, I forgot to talk about stream snacks. Uh, if, you know, if you're eating and or drinking snacks, let us know what uh, you're having. Tell us in chat, love to hear about it. Um, I've got my standard LaCroix. This is the hibiscus flavor, which I really am getting tired of. I'm, I'm down to my last two, so we're going to have to get a new flavor real soon. <laughs> oh, and by the way, we have a new follower, uh, Shimmer Void. Thank you for the follow, my friend. Here on Tabletop Tonight, we do analog alerts. And anytime we have a new follower, we have Felicia the Followfish swim around, say hello. Uh, she welcomes new followers, and then she takes off. And all of us in chat, and including chat, we all say, Bye, Felicia. Thanks for the follow, Shimmer Void. Much appreciated. Let's get back to the game. And uh, have you tried the solo mini expansions found on the... No, I have not yet, uh, Andy Troop. This is my first time playing. I did like uh, some sample, or I mean, did like a couple of um, practice uh, turns earlier today. So this is literally my first time playing it. Uh, thank you for the bye, Felicia's friends. 
So here we go. I'm going to start. Uh, the AI always goes first. So I'm going to reveal their tile. Uh, they're going to take an item, the least amount, um, the least expensive item. There's two, two, three, one, and three. They're going to take the one. And this just goes into their little uh, player board, which you, oh, you can barely see here. Uh, that's, they don't get resources or anything. They're just gonna get their victory points at the end. Okay, and then these slide down and we refill with a new item card. And then it's my turn. Oh, I forgot to, I'm supposed to draw cards. So at the start of your turn, one, two, three, four, five, just like any deck builder. Okay, so here's the hand that I drew. I unfortunately drew a couple of fears, boo urns. And then I drew um, exploration and two explorations and a funding. So here's what I'm going to do on my turn. I'm going to do my main action, which is going to be one of these. Dig at a site, use the effect, discover a new site, overcome a guardian, buy an item, buy an artifact, play a card. Uh, so for the second player, since I'm the second player, I start with one time and one money. So, um, hmm. Okay. Oh, let me start these here. I could go here. Or I could go okay. I really like to I really want to get some assistance going if I can. So I can get to the second space here, I'll get an assistant. So just like any other deck building work for placement game, this it starts pretty um it's a slow burn. It's gonna we're gonna you know move up here and get more things um, abilities yet. Uh, AB True says not the campaign yet. One of the mini expansions result, results in the AI getting a few points. Oh, the other is for you beat with all red cards gives the AI purple as area. What kind of camera do you use to zoom in on the cards? Oh, hi arcade token female. Thanks for joining. You know what? I'm just using OBS and I only have a, a webcam up here. One webcam taking the board. And what I did was. Um, let me see, what did I do? <laughs> what did I do? Oh, I basically copied the cameras in OBS. So I copied one that it was just here. I just trimmed it, like I copied it on the OBS and then I trimmed it so it only shows that. And then for the tiles, I did the same thing. I, it's just the exact same camera. So you can see my hand flying around here. And it's the exact same camera, just um, cropped it and enlarged it a little bit. Uh, and then I just, you know, these I just, download off the website or whatever and um, crop them in there. But thanks for the question, RK Token Female. I'm still learning this stuff. There's a bunch of streamers in chat right now. I'm sure would love to help you out. Um, so continue to ask questions. I learn just as much as you do. So please ask those questions. Uh, thanks. Uh, I am going to go, um, let's see. I probably want to get that gem. So what I can do is I go to this spot here. And what this means is discard a card to get a gem. I'm going to discard my fear, right? Because that, that was, oh, first of all, I got to spend a fear. So uh, a boot to go there. So I'm spending this boot. Okay, I'll discard it there. And then I'm uh, spending or discarding this card in order to get a gem. And these are pretty tough to get. So I'm going to get that. And that's the end of my turn. That was a main action. I could do free actions if I had them, um, which I don't right now. Now we turn over the AI. They have revealed um, this. So they take a worker and block off the first space that has anything with the tablets. And what they always start at the top and work their way down. They always prefer going to the higher locations because these are the better ones. They haven't opened those up yet, so they just go here and block off that. So now I cannot go there. Okay, now I am going to spend this gem that I just got in order to take the action of moving my magnifying glass research. I have moved up here. I've spent that to go to this level. I get one coin. Okay. Now I could use these cards. I remember I have cards here, friends, where I can spend those in order to go to a spot or I can spend them right now to get like a coin or time tokens or whatever. Um, hi Joe. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Are you treasure hunting? I am treasure hunting. Have you played this yet, Joe? I, I, I just learned it um, last night, early this morning. I, I really enjoy it. A uh, cool little uh, mix of deck building and worker placement. Okay, I'm going to do the AI now. They have pulled this one. So they go researching. Okay. And then you, um, on the back um, of the deck, they have these arrows. And that's going to tell you what, they, um, what location they prefer. So on the stack here, they have a left arrow. So they're going to prefer going to the left side here. 
If true, after a few plays, I recommend that you use the other side of the board. Main difference is the research track is trickier and the explore travel costs are different. Uh, oh, okay, cool. Thanks, uh, AB True. Okay, uh, now it's my turn. I really want to go here. So I know oh, they blocked off that spot with that, which is a bummer. Okay, oh, let me see. I know there's some reminders. They remind you you can't. Okay, I can always play that. Um, well, I can get an arrowhead and then move that up there. Okay, uh, I am going to go to, oh, these are blocked off, by the way. Uh, I'm going to go here to get an, oh, wait a second. Let's see what cards I have. Exile this card. Uh, oh, I need two to activate two. Oh, okay. So if I can get some money, I can get that artifact, which, which would be nice. The artifact costs me four, so I need to get two coins, but then I have a, have another coin. So I need to get a total of five coins. How am I going to do that? Okay, let's go activate here. So I get two coins. Now, to go here, I need a boot. And again, we're going to go to the hierarchy, higher up, the travel hierarchy. A boot can be covered by a boot, um, by anything, basically. So I'm going to discard this exploration, which has the um, car symbol. So that allows me to go there. And then I get two coins, which I just gave myself. <clears throat> and then I am going to take this free action. By discarding it, I get another coin. So now I have my five coins for my next turn. And now it's the AI. They're going to go block the um, arrowhead spot, which is right here. And then it's back to my turn. I'm going to use this artifact here. Okay. Remember, the artifact you can use right away. So I'm going to spend four. Oh, it's time, not. Oh, darn it. I misread it. It's time, not. Um, ah, okay. Here's my one for the game. I'm going to go here and get two time. I'm returning the two money I got there. I'm also returning the one money that I used on that card. So what I did was I went here to get two time. And then, oh shoot. And then I'm gonna spend this exploration to get the free time. So now I have four. Okay. So that was my makeup for the last turn. Now, I'm going to do this one here, the star card, which I spend four time to do this ability. Okay, so four time goes in the bank. I pay one time to activate any two different uh, sites here. Okay, so that's going to get me more resources. And then this goes into my discard pile, so I'm going to be able to do that later. Uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to activate this one here which is discard and get a jewel and I'm gonna activate um, this one here and I'm gonna activate this one here get me two tablets okay so that's basically my turn right there yeah okay uh, now we go to the AI they take oh I'm supposed to refill this and then they take the lowest priced artifact, which is this one right here. Again, they're not getting resources. That's just for points at the end. Now, um, I am. I think I'm going to have to pass because I have no more cards. I have some resources here. I could go up. Uh, oh, I could. Oh, let's see here. Let's see what we can buy. Okay. I have one coin. I could uh, buy this. Um, did, uh, explore with a discount. No. Huh. Okay, do I want this card or not? I don't know if I want this card. I don't think that's that good. I can go with a discount of two. Nah, I'm not. Uh, I'm going to hard pass. Okay, so let's just finish out. Uh, the AI will always finish out their 10 actions. So this is uh, block uh, this one with the time, but it's already been used. Doesn't matter. Uh, now let's block off this one with the coins. Uh, this is block off the one with the jewel, but I'm already there. Okay, this one here, now they're going to um, go discover. So they discover, this is round one, they go discover, and they're going to put a monster out. Um, so look at the arrow, they're going to go to the leftmost here. Um, 
here. They get this, and it's going to go on their player board for points. Um, it goes on a certain section, which I'll show you later. And then we randomly draw a tile. And because this says monster on it, we'll put a, or a guardian, we'll put it there. Okay. And finally, their last action, they are going to... Oh, and this is a, I believe this is a vanquish. Or what is it called again? Not vanquish. There's another... Um, they defeat the monster, I believe, for all actions. Dig it aside, discover. Overcome. Overcome a guardian. Okay. So they overcome a guardian here. Basically, they just get it for the uh, five points at the end of the game. It goes on to their player board. And that, friends, is the end of round one. Let's look at the player raid. Uh, set up for the next round. So reset your board. Return all your peoples, your adventurers. Uh, shuffle cards in the play area and we put them at the bottom of your deck so that's the one interesting thing so um, I had the one artifact that I bought this turn and then it's going to be added to my deck there are a couple of fear cards there and it goes on the bottom okay job of game and hey thanks for joining us man um, shimmer void I am using um, a logitech I forget that it's a 922, I believe. Uh, that's my that's actually my overhead and my face cam. Uh, I'm using the same one. I have two of the same uh, cameras here. A um, few players recommend that you. Okay, yeah, thank you. Uh, Garble Gaiman's in the house. Uh, Shock, what are you doing here? I love that you're all, all the regulars here. Thank you guys. Uh, thank you all for uh, joining me. Sounds like you're basically Indiana Jones. Yeah, totally, too, totally cool. Uh, totally true. Uh, it's another Indiana Jones style game, which I like. I like that theme, which is funny. Uh, Michelle and I just played Lost Cities, the board game, last night. Another Indiana, Indiana Jones-ish uh, game. Uh, so Shuffle Your Did, which I did. Refresh Your Assistance, which I don't have any yet. Um, and then Move the Moon Staff, Refill the Card Row. So what this does is... Oh. Um, exile the two, card, two cards next to the Moon Staff. Here's the Moon Staff. So we exile or trash... An artifact and an item so as the game continues now we're in round two you're gonna get more artifacts and fewer items to buy um, let's see that yep cool 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 uh, let's see final thing pass the start okay the starting player in the solo game is always gonna be the AI and then I draw five cards and we rinse and repeat okay um, so I've drawn two explorations, two funding, and a fear. Ba basically the same hand I had last turn. Uh, I'm going to shuffle the AI. That's their ten action tiles. And I'll draw the first one. They have drawn. They get the lowest price artifact. Uh, we have a two and a four, so they get the two. This refills. And then it's my turn. Okay. I really want to get here. Oh, I actually, I'm going to go here. Uh, I'm going to move my magnifying glass. I'm doing research. I'm moving, not my magnifying glass. I'm moving, moving my notebook to this space by turning in a gem. And this gives me an assistant. Uh, so, oh, let me, oh, these should be on the, yeah, th that's the right side. So do I want this one, this one? I'm going to take this assistant here. Uh, they come in um, unexhausted. So... First of all, I get three coins right off the bat for taking this assistant. It goes on my player board, which is off camera, but here's the player board. So here's my, my adventurers. These are my card deck. Uh, these are where I'm going to place these uh, tiles here. When I when I discover new lands, they'll go here. And then any time I can spend those to get um, uh, more resources. So I got my three. At any time, this is a free action because Lightning Bolt, I can um, exhaust this to get two more coins. So... Um, you know, I might as well do it now, right? No no time better than the present. So I got two coins for a free action. So now I have a total of two, four, three, four, five, six coins, two tablets. Uh, to get to the next one, I need a tablet and um, so an arrowhead. So I need to get some arrowheads here. Um, also, I need to get some time tokens because in order to go here, I need to get some time. Uh, so I'll probably be looking at one of these here soon, hopefully. Let's see what the AI does. They go and block the nearest um, tablet space. So uh, this one has no tablets. 
uh, there it is right there. So they blocked that. Now back to me. Um, I am going to go. Oh, I could go here. Oh, no, I can't because I need to spend three uh, time. So do I want time? Uh, you know what? No, I'm going to go here. Got my arrowhead. That's my main action. Uh, then I'll use uh, my next action for there. Okay. Uh, let's do the AI. Okay, they're gonna vanq or they're gonna overcome a uh, uh, guardian, but there are no guardians there. So if there's no guardians, you go to this spot here, which is their um, research, and they just move here. And unfortunately, they're gonna take this bonus tile, which is just thrown out of the game, but it prevents me from getting it. Okay, uh, back to me. Let me see what cards I have. I have these two. I have two time. So if I go here. Oh man, okay, what are the, uh, I can use these, uh, ooh, I can, oh, that one's good, so I have one, two, okay, yeah, all right, I'm going to go here to take two time tokens, and um, I'm going to do a couple of free actions, I believe, yeah, let's do a couple of free actions, shall we? I'm going to do these two free actions, uh, getting two time tokens. Okay, and that's the end of my turn. Uh, we go back to the AI. They have drawn this, so now we're in round two, so they're going to explore a level one, which is this area here. Uh, according to the arrow here, um, they're going to go to the right side this time, which is here. You know, I wonder if they were supposed to go up here, because they always want to go higher. Okay, tell you what, I'm going to, yeah, that's what it is. So we're going to time, uh, redo that. So they're going up here with a level one. They take this token. That goes there. Their person goes there. Uh, you'll note on this one here that there is no guardian, so there will be no guardian added this round. And then this will go into their player board, which I'll talk about at the end of the game. Okay, back to my turn. I want to go, I want to move up here. So I'm going to move my, again, my magnifying glass always has to be higher. So I'm going to move that here by spending an arrow, uh, arrowhead and a tablet. And I get this one. This is draw a card. And then I discard this. So I draw a card in my hand, which is Boo Earns a Fear. Um, let's see. That's all right. Um, oh, I can't even. What is that symbol? That is move oh i can take that action oh you know what i have the all the things here so the one i'm looking for is take the dig at site action or discover new site action so that's i see some of those i see one on the card here and i get a discount so i may have to do that on my next turn okay um oh wait so i can take that action but both my um adventures are out now so i can't do that there's a special one that says relocate, and this one is just take the action. It's not a relocate. I need the relocate action, which is uh, upgrade, gain an item. I thought you could go to the open area. Isn't it uh, only the three time to discover the space? Um, to go up here, Oh yeah, to discover. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, totally. Thank you. Yeah, I could. I could go there. It's uh, to discover to turn the tile over. Thank you, Kumi. Yeah, I could go here to get um, a gold and an arrowhead. So hey, I'm gonna do another do over. Um, thanks to our friend uh, Kumi. So instead of going here to get an arrowhead, I'm gonna go here. Um, all I would need is a car, which I believe I had. Yep. Uh, one of my funding there. Um, and then I get a gold coin and an arrowhead. I spent the arrowhead uh, on this, but I do get a gold coin. Thank you, Kumi. Okay, so now let's do the um, their turn. Uh, they're doing a research and um, going up here for research. And they discard the leftmost assistant, which is this one. I'll just toss it over there. And now it's back to me. I have a bunch of... Oh, man. If I go there... Oh, I can't. Oh, man. How can I get... Okay. If I spend three time... 
I can discard. Oh yeah, I can trash. Okay, I'm gonna get this artifact here. So my my action is uh, take an artifact. I'm spending three time. One, two, three. And I draw a card and then dis um, tr uh, exile or trash a card. Um, so this is gonna go here. I draw a card and then I discard or I exile a card. And what's cool to exile, you can totally exile from your hand or from your discards. I have one of these fear in my hand, so that fear is bye-bye. Okay, so uh, that's cards play. So check this out. Now I have the star charts. This is the one I got on the previous turn. Now I have to pay, in order to do this, I have to pay a tablet to get that, which I do, but that'll be my next turn. Let's go to the AI. They have drawn this. Uh, they are going to block off the first um, arrow card. Okay, uh, back to me. I think this is where I want to. Okay, so I need an arrow. So I'm definitely okay. So I'm gonna play this card, Star Charts. Oh, darn it. Oh no. Okay, cool, cool. I'm gonna pay one coin. Uh, first, I need to pay. First, I need to pay that tablet. So there's the tablet. And then I have to pay a coin to activate any two sites, two of the basic sites. So there's the payment. Whoops. Goes back here. Uh, so I'm going to uh, activate this for two tablets, one, two, and one arrowhead, one. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, next, uh, they're going to block off um, something with time. So again, we go here. Uh, and I'm already there, so eh -huh. Okay, I'm going to take the research action, so I'm going to move this one up here. Okay, so this is going to go up here. I'm paying one tablet and one arrowhead, which I just got. Yay. And then my bonus. Oops. My bonus here, because I used um, the um, uh, notebook, I get another assistant. Okay, so the assistants are here. Uh, what's this mean? Minus, oh, this is like an ongoing discount. Oh, that's sort of cool. So, um, this is the play rate. There's the effects. So, the one you may immediately buy an item or artifact with the indicated discount. So, this one gives me an immediate uh, two discount, either time or money, when I get it. And then later, when I want to... Um, exhaust it, I'll get a one discount. So I'm definitely going to use it now. Whoops, I forgot to refill this. Okay, so I've got, oh, I've only got one time. Darn it. Okay. Well, um, okay. That one wants to be draw a card with a disc, uh, gets a discount. Exile this card to overcome a monster. Okay. Uh, this is the dig site with a discount. This one looks good, the sea turtle. So what I'm going to do is take that two coin discount and only pay one for this one. Yeah, okay. I'm paying that. And that goes into my discarded area. Um, these slide down. This comes up. Okay, I need to stay hydrated here. I always forget that two coins. Yeah, one airplane, right? One airplane equals two boat. Yep. Or two boots, one car, or one, or two boat, one car, one boot. Yep. Okay, so uh, that was the end of my turn. I got my bonus there. Um, and then it's the AIs. Uh, they're gonna block a space that has a coin on it. So we start here at the highest point. They're right there. They're gonna block off this one. Um, I can go here. No, I don't have enough to go up here yet. And you'll notice here that they don't all have bonus tiles. These are for like the four-player game, but you're still going. You're still going up on it with two. Yeah, I'm gonna throw on some music. Let me know if it's too loud, and I'll uh, shut it down. But I'll have some background music for y'all. Um, back to my turn. I've got this one coin. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna use this for a discount. So time with a discount of two boots. Or this is trash a card and get a, you know, you get this one here. Yeah, okay, so that costs me uh, 
Oh, does that do that? Does that mean I get it for free? I don't know. I think I get it for free. It's because I get a one one buff discount. Okay, back to the AI. Uh, they're gonna block a space here with the gem. Okay. Uh, back to me. I am going to uh, just use my funding for a free coin. And the AI's last turn is they're going to get the lowest artifact, which is, they're both tied. So we just look at the back here. They are gonna prefer the uh, left side one. So they get this one here. All right, that's the end of the round, folks. I discard this. Um, I've used, I went through my entire deck. So this is the one thing, um, and correct me if I'm wrong, this is where, when you go to your deck to get more cards, if you're out of cards, you're just out. You don't reshuffle. You only reshuffle at the end of the round. I believe that's right. Okay, so I'm shuffling these cards there. Uh, let's go back to the end here. So, return workers, adventurers. Uh, shuffle cards. Uh, refresh your assistance. So, uh, the assistance refreshed. Exile two next to the staff. Remove the staff and then refill. So now we're, again we're getting more artifacts, fewer items. And then uh, pass starting and draw back up to five. We are in round three, folks. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, let me reshuffle this one. Music is had. Uh, okay, no problem. Thanks for letting me know, Shimmer. Much appreciated. I shall turn it down. Okay. And let me know if that works for you. Okay. <clears throat> Should be a new song starting up real soon here. Okay. All right. They start. Um, AI starts first. Oh, we are in round three. They're going to go discover a level one, and it's going to get a monster or a guardian. So they want to start up here, or they're gonna go. It says here right side. So they can go here, goes there, and they get this token on the player board. Uh, that's the player there, and they get a guardian. Okay. All right. Uh, my turn. Oh, let me see my five cards. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Boy. Oh, hey, I'm going to use my use my free action. Gets two bucks. Okay. Um, I need time, though. Oh, this one, I can get a new one. So I need two. Okay, two of those and one of those. Um, I just need a boat. Yeah. All right. I'm going to use the funding for the boat. Discard that, and that's going to go here. So I need a coin, I get a coin, and two tablets. Okay. A much better music. Okay, cool, thanks, Shimmer Boy. AI, they're gonna block a space with a coin. So they start up here, they're gonna block that one there. Uh, back to me. Um, that's where I wanted to go, unfortunately. But, let's see, with those card, research with a discount of a gem, move one on your player board from their slot back to your supply crates. Okay. I need to do some exploring. I, I really want some of these tokens, but I don't... I need time. We need time, folks. Time gets me... Oh, okay. Actually, I need an arrow. So I'm gonna... I've been focusing on this track here. So... Um, oh, I can do a one... Oh, I only have one, though. Darn it. Okay. So, is there a way I can get some time? No. I could go get the arrowhead, which is going to get me up here for sure. And that'll give me a new assistant. Which, okay, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go here, get my two tablets. Uh, one, two. No, not tablets. Uh, arrowhead. One arrowhead. And that'll be it for my turn, unless I have... Uh, 
darn it. These cards are really, I, I, eh, okay, it is what it is. Um, let's do the AI. They've got a research and they discard the rightmost. Okay, they go, they're going to the right side, so here. Oh no, they discarded the one I wanted, this one right here, darn it. Okay, well, Boo Earns. Well, I can go up here now. What can I, I can get the time or the, okay. Uh, the colored one means, let's see, so the, this one here, the effects, upgrade one of your assistants and refresh it. Okay. Okay, so this would be a refresh. Okay. Well, that's not too bad then. Well, let's do that. I'm going to move up here. I have to use a magnifying glass. I spend two tablets and an arrowhead. And I am going to get... Oh, I, okay, four, or I mean, I get one uh, time. Okay. And then, oh, that's not a free action. Okay, Th this one I'm gonna have to use on a different turn. Okay, back to the AI. They take the lowest priced um, item, uh, two, two, and four. So we look at the tiebreaker, which is the left side. They get this one. Oops. And then these refill. Exile this card to gain. Oh. Oh, there's some good ones here. Okay. Okay. The binoculars is pretty cool. I can activate. Okay, I'm going to get those binoculars. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my discount here of one coin. So those binoculars cost three. And I exhaust this. So three coins. One, two, three. And this will go into my deck here. I can't use it yet. Hopefully next turn. Okay. All right, cool. Back to their turn. Uh, Kumi says, I really like how the market changes the game. Yeah, I really, I'm really digging this game. Agreed. Uh, they get the lowest um, artifact. They have three, four, and three. We look at the tiebreaker, which is left side. And we refill this. Back to me. I am going to use my star charts here. Star charts, again. I have to spend a tablet in order to pay one coin to activate any two sites, the, the bottom sites here. So I spend my tablet. Let's activate. I want to get some time. Okay, I'm going to activate this one for two time. And then I'm going to, um, ooh, decisions, decisions. Activate. Uh, ooh, I'll activate this one for two tablets. Okay, back to the AI. Uh, they block a spot with time on it. So start up here, block that time. Okay. Now, can I go digging? Because I have three here. And I have a car. Boot. Ooh, if I had six. No, nope, I don't. Oh, this is supposed to be refilled. Research with a discount of that. Ooh. Oh my gosh. The soul. No, I don't want to get an artifact. Uh, let's do. AB Troop. I like that. Plumpy Thimble, hi, thanks for joining us, friend. Played some uh, Lost Ruins of Arnak, a solo game today. Uh, let's see, AB Troop, I like that artifact. Three tablets helps activate artifacts to go up the research track. Good if you have cards, assistance, that'll be trash cards. Yeah, agreed. Hey, AB Troop, so if I already have my, I, I'm assuming that I have my adventurers out here. Um, when I, if I was gonna do this action here, like I couldn't do this, uh, this one because I already have my res uh, my adventurers out, correct? Because I know there's like a relocate um, action that specifically says you can take uh, adventure from another spot. So I'm assuming that for this card, I would have to have a, a free uh, adventurer, which messes up my plans a little bit, actually a lot. 
because I really wanted to go up there. But maybe I can get um, one of these cards here. Research with a discount of that. Ah, oh, man. I could go here. No, I can't. I need the uh, thing. Okay, activate site. You'll alkify because you must pay. Exos card. This gets to trash a card and I get that symbol. Maybe I'll just, uh, maybe I'll wait. Uh, let's see, do I have free actions? I have, um, okay, so, oh, I can play this card. Um, sorry, you have to have a free ma uh, meeple unless the card lets you, yep, thank you. That's why. that's what I thought. So this one here, Sea Turtle, um, I can dis, I draw a card and then I may do the action so I'm wondering if I could just do that top half, just draw the card, but I, I think I, you have to do the entire thing, right? What card is that sea turtle? I'm pretty sure you have to do all of the card action, right? Play a card. Um, yeah, folks, if you're just joining me, this is my very first game of this, a uh, very first playthrough. I did a couple of practice rounds earlier uh, today. So thanks for your patience as I look up some of the rules. Um, resolve the cards of the cards. Okay, that's a free action. On the other hand, all cards when you play, you also have to pay. No. Nope. Yeah. So would this just mean I draw a card and then I may do that part for? Resolve the card's effect. So I guess I can't. Since I cannot do this, I cannot draw a card. That's what I'm assuming. I, I can draw a card, but I can't. I don't have a free adventurer, so it's probably not, probably not something I can do, unfortunately. But I have other things I may do. I can do. Hmm. Yeah, it's an interesting case. I'm. I, I, I feel sort of bad now because now. Uh, not at all. I took some time out this afternoon. Have to... Hey, be true. Thanks for joining me. Appreciate it, friend. Have a good night. Um, so I'm gonna buy. I think that torch would be cool. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get that torch, so that's gonna allow me to uh, exile one of my fear cards. Fear cards at the end are also uh, negative one point each. Uh, so I'm gonna pay my two to get this torch. These go here. And it's the AI's turn. Uh, they are going to get rid of a guardian. on the board for points. Back to me. I'm going to... Darn it. Uh, let's see, I have three coins. I can go exile, activate. Oh, okay, yeah, we're taking that lantern. So that's gonna allow me to activate sites. So that's gonna go there. Uh, I spend the three and this gets turned over here. And back to the AI. They block a space with an arrowhead. Uh, not available, so that just goes on. I don't have any other free actions left. Um, I cannot go up there. Darn it. Okay, so I need a hard pass. And then the AI gets their last turns. They block off a spot there. And they also block off a spot. Boom. End of the round. Let's go to the end of the round here. Return peeps. Or return meeps, as they say. Uh, shuffle all cards in play area. And after you shuffle the cards in play area, those will include the new ones that I just got. Now they go on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Again, I like this. It's a different take on a deck building and board placement. Nice combination of the two. Refresh my assistance. Exile the two next to the staff here. Exile means trash. Okay. Um, move. Fresh. And then we're gonna shuffle up the AIs. Okay, AI always goes first, so let's see what they pull off. They're gonna block a um, spot with an arrowhead. That's my turn. Oh, I need to draw five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now I 
to do. I could go here and discover, which I think I want to do. Uh, is there something that gives me time? Yes, there is. I can, oh, I refresh my assistance. Um, speaking of assistance, I'm going to take my two for free right off the bat. Um, okay, do I have a boat? I do have a boat. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna use the boat to go here for one of my um, things. Wait a second, do I? I've been concentrating show so hard on this track here. Uh, let me see what kind of cards we got. Research with a discount of either that. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do that then. No, I can't. <laughs> Let's do this. I really wanna go up there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to use this, uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I want to go up here for, I'm going to go straight to a level two. I want to discover level two. So what I have to do is I have to pay six. One, two, three, four. Oh, I don't even have six. So I could explore down here. Um, I can gain two there, and then the next turn I can go up there, which might be sort of cool. Yeah start doing some trades as well research with a discount of either oh okay um let me go okay i'm gonna do this card here for two time i'm gonna get this artifact uh, this is the inscribed blade research with a discount of either one arrowhead or two um, tablets. I'm gonna research uh, this here so I can go here. Uh, I'm gonna research with a discount of one arrowhead so I owe one coin and one tablet which I have. I go here I gain a tablet and I gain a time. Okay. And these are the victory points at the end of the game as well. Okay, now back to this. Get the low, oops, get this one here. They get the lowest priced one, which is a three and three. The tiebreaker is to the left. Back to me. I am gonna play, what do I have, three? Okay, I can go explore, I think. But I got time. Where's my uh, yellow? Okay. Oh, I see what I did. Okay. So three. Let's discover a new land, shall we? Or I can take a dis. Oh, you know what? I should have taken a discount. No, you know what? I, it's too late. But I, I can do a discount of one. Okay. I really want to get this here. How can I get an arrowhead? I can get an arrowhead here. Um, and I have a tablet. I need two tablets. Oh, I have two tablets. What am I talking about? Okay. Ah, it's so I, I really don't want to go there. It's so inefficient, but I got to get this one here so I can get that better discount. Upgrade my assistance. Mm -hmm. It's almost too late, though. You know what I mean? Let's go explore, shall we? I'm gonna explore. Uh, this one gets me time. Time's always a good thing. So I'm gonna go explore here. So I need three time to go discover. And I get a time back. And then I flip over this. Okay. And I immediately get a time and an arrow, yay. And then a guardian comes into play. Okay, so in order to um, uh, overcome it, I need a boot and a gem. All right, back to the AI. It is round four, so they are going to build a two level or level two, but no guardian. So level two, and they're going to the right side. So they go there. They get these tokens, unfortunately. Uh, that's going to go there. That's good. There. 
Okay, back to me. Um, uh, ooh, that's sort of cool. Oh, but I need uh, I need so many time tokens to do that. What I am going to do, though, is... Oh, will that give me stuff? Activate site you. Okay, let me see my cards. Let's see what my cards say. Pay. Okay, I can activate that, which is pretty cool. Yo. I'm gonna play Cleansing Condition, which is cost me one tablet. I get to draw a card and then trash a card or exile a card. Okay, um, I'll exile this one. There. Okay, and then back to the AI. Uh, they've drawn a research. Uh, the research there, and then they discard the one that has the most, which is this one here. Back to me. I am going to. Oh, did I play that? Oh, that's the one I played earlier. Okay. Um, now. Yeah. I'm going to. Okay, I'm going to play Star Charts. Uh, this one's going to cost me a tablet. And then I pay a coin, which I'm doing right now, to activate any two sites on the bottom. Uh, so I'm going to activate this one for two tablets and this one for an arrowhead. And it's the AI's turn. They are blocking a spot with the gem, which I blocked that one. They go there. And now I'm going to be able to move up here. Okay. I don't want to do that. Or, oh, I can do a discount first. Or I can do, I have the sea turtle with a discount. So I can go take, what's that action? Take the, uh, take the dig or, okay. So I like that with a discount of a ship. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna play this sea turtle. So I take the explore or dig or discover action with a discount of a ship. So I'm going to take my worker and go right here. I don't have to pay the ship and I get two time tokens. Okay. Brutal Dan. Hi, Brutal. Brutal Danny. Thanks for joining, friend. I, I think you were streaming earlier. I hope it went well. Uh, I'm playing a solo game of Lost uh, Ruins of Arnak, but thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. It's so nice to see you streaming more, Danny. So good to see you streaming, friend. Um, I'm going to do the AI now. They've got... They get the lowest price item, which is this one. We refill there. And then it's back to me. Um, so I've used that one. I've got a couple of here I can get some time tokens for. Uh, let's see, I can refresh that. I can get those pay to reveal the, oh yeah, we're doing that. Okay, I'm gonna use this action here where I get a discount of one time for this card here. So I'm paying, instead of four, I'm paying three, one, two, three. And then I pay a time, which I do have here, to reveal the top tile of the stack, activate it, and put it on the bottom. So I act, turn this over, activate it. So I get a fear card, but I also get two tablets and two arrows. Pretty cool, pretty cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Dan is the gift that keeps on giving. Yes, you are, Danny. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> That's my favorite comment of the night, folks, right there. Um, we're going to refill this. And now it's the AI's turn. They're going to vanqu or overcome a monster, which they don't have. So they're going to, instead, they're going to um, move up this track and they go to the left side and take a tablet. Okay. Back to me. I can finally move this up here for two tablets, one arrow. I get to upgrade an assistant and refresh it. So let me see if I can do this. So this would be minus two. Oh, that's pretty sweet. That's
that is pretty sweet. Or I can upgrade this one and just get three coins straight up. Um, ooh, okay. That might work. Um, yeah. Okay. Let us... So if I do that for one, no. Nope. If I get this for three. Okay, I'm going to upgrade this to three, and that's going to be usable now. It's a free action, so I'm going to immediately use it, get three coins, one, two, three, and then, what did I just do? I did that, I, oh, I moved this up here, got my free action for my upgrade. Okay, done. Uh, this guy's turn, uh, they get a free thing. Plumpy Thimble, have a good night. Thanks for hanging out, friend. Um, they block a time space, um, starting up here. Time. Boom. Okay. My turn. Um, let us... Can I go explore there? I can. I can get two of those, or I can do a trade. Yeah. No. Activate an unoccupied spot. Which gets me... No, I'm not going to do that. I need to get a gem. So what I'm going to do with the gem, folks, um, I am going to move... I'm going to place this on my player board to activate. So on my player board, I've taken my token here. I flip it around. And I'm going to turn in a coin for a gem, which is a free action. Coin for a gem. Then I'm going to spend that gem with a coin, another coin that I have, to move up on that track. And this gets me um, a time token. And it's back to the AI. They are going to block a spot with um, tablets on it. So they block this one. Back to me. Um, I am going to move the handle. I want to move the handle. Here and get. Ooh, I get a trade, which would be nice. Oh, I can move this one. This is a little nicer. <laughs> uh, I am going to. So I have three here. Yeah. I'm going to move my notebook here connected there. I spent two arrows to do it. My free action is, or my freebie is a time token, which I'll take here. I don't know why I want these resources here. Back to the AI for their final move. They block a spot with a coin. Uh, coin, coin, coin right there. Okay, back to me. Um, oh, so I moved here. I can, I forgot to do this where I can refresh and um, Upgrade, so I'm going to upgrade this one here. Now it's back to my turn. That was the thing I forgot to do last turn. It's my turn now. Uh, I'm going to use... Um, I've got one, two, those tokens. Um, what do I need? I need a gold coin, which I have. Oh, I need that gem. Darn it. The gem spaces are taken up. Uh, activate an unoccupied site. Nope, don't want to do that. Activate a site. You occupy, occupy. I occupy this one and this one. That's not going to help me. Uh, I've got two time tokens. I do have a discount, so I can get that, that, that. So I'm just going to gain from exile to the bottom of your deck. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you what. Um, this is. Oh, I got this too. How many time tokens? I've got two time tokens. Get one from there. No, I can't. Can I get one from here? I, yes, I can if I move here, but I don't. Yeah, I, I need that gem, which is being occupied by this fool right here. Uh, these go here. Um, I can move up here though. Okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna move here. I'll just spend two tablets, one arrowhead to get this. And what this token is. Um, this is the second one there. I may make a trade where I can trade stuff for an arrowhead or arrowhead to that, which I don't have right now. Oh, darn it. I'm, this is immediate only. Darn. Darn, 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 darn. I can trade. Oh, man. where? How can I get some of those? Um, oh, I can't believe I'm going to burn that. That is such a waste. Okay. But, okay. Since I moved up here, okay, that's wasted. But I do get to draw a card. 
And, oh, okay, cool. So the AI is done, I can just take my turns, uh, uh, just keep taking my turns. Here I'm gonna exile a card and get a tablet. So I'm gonna take a tablet. And I'm going to exile, let's exile, let's see, which one do I want to exile? Exile the uh, exploration one again. Or exploration, and then I have a, so that was the torch. And then exploration, I get a time token. Um, do I have the discount? I do have a discount. So I'm going to, um, oh, all right. I'm going to buy this, this one here. For instead of three, I got a discount of two, so down to one. So I only pay one, and I may um, unexhaust one thing, one assistant, which I'll do this one here, and then I'll exhaust them to get the three money back. One, two, three. And then this refills. And I believe that's the end of the round. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I don't think I'm being that efficient. I think I'm in trouble here. Okay, uh, end of the round. Let's look at the player rate again. Uh, return everyone. Workers. Shuffle cards in my play area. Put them at the bottom of the deck. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Thanks for hanging out with me on this impromptu Monday. Me, myself, and Monday stream. Playing some Lost Ruins of Arnak. Thank you again. And that goes to the bottom of my deck. Exile the things next to the staff. So exiled, exiled. Move this and it is the final round. Okay. Uh, what else do I have to do? Move the moose out of refill, pass, and draw back up. All right, I'll refresh my assistance. And we'll do this here. I have this feeling I'm in trouble here. I, I don't. <laughs> first, first game, right? For, for it's a learning game. Oops, I forgot that assist. I think it was there. All right. Okay, and they go first. They are taking the lowest priced one of these. They're all three, so they go to the right side. So that's what goes there. Okay. Oh man, how can I get so? Oh, okay. I get an arrowhead there. Time token. Oh, I need a gem. Because I... Oh, wait. No, I can go there. It's connected. Yeah. So I've got one of those, one of those. Um, okay. Where's my five cards? I always forget to draw my five. One, two, three, four, five. Was I at a space with the... Yeah, I think you're right, um, Kumi. So I get a fear card. Thank you. Uh, and that was going to go to the bottom of my deck. So let me see. One, two, three, four, five. I'll just I'll put it like near the bottom. So thank you. Good eye, good eye. Um, how can I get a gem? I can do a trade. No, I can't do that trade. Um, gosh. Activate. Oh, I can activate for three. Oh, that, that's a, I, I can't do that right now. That's um, I have to only do these here. Use effect on the gold side of one. The one with some five art. Oh, that's sort of cool. Okay. Let me see what I have here. Activate any site. Oh, I'll, I'll do that. Okay. I'm going to activate... Activate any site. I'm going to activate the one that gets me a gem. Back to the AI. They block off a spot with uh, tablets. Back to me. I'm going to... Okay, I can take a discount with two boots. Okay. How do I do this? What's the... Hierarchy. Okay. Where's the one with two boots? Only here? Oh, I can activate any of those sites. Oh, that's sort of cool. Okay. So if I got a gem here, and a tablet here, ooh. That'd be nice. 
or I can get a bunch of let's see this, this, this one here. That's what I should be doing. Okay, I'm gonna activate. Oh no, that's a double. I can't activate a double. Um, I've got. Let me see. That takes two boats to get there. I do have two boats. That'll get me those two. Gosh, I really want to get to the top here. Draw more cards. Drawing more cards would be um, darn. Maybe use the effect of the gold side now. So I've got these. Okay, let me use this one here. So I get three points. I forgot to use them. One, two, three, and then I've got. I can get the discount of two. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one here. Use the effect, so let me, this is the coconut flask. I use the effect, so it's gonna cost me three, but I do have a two discount, so it's only cost me one, which I just paid. Did I just pay it? Yeah, I think I just paid it. Use the effect of the silver side of one assistant available. So I'm gonna use the silver side of this one here. Uh, so this goes in my deck. Uh, this is gonna draw a card, and then I can uh, discard a card. Drawn the sea turtle, I'm gonna discard my fear. Okay, cool. And then this one goes. Uh, they're blocking a space with an arrowhead, which is right there. Oh, actually, no, it's the highest one. There. Okay. And then I can go here. That gets me two time. Oh, let me move these down. Drop to two cards and keep one. Oh, that's sort of cool. Derby game. Have a good, have a good night, man. Thanks for hanging out, brother. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna win though. <laughs> I can get arrowheads there. I can go here. If I go up here, ooh, I can vanquish or overcome. If I go here, I can get a bunch of time tokens, which is sort of cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh. Oh uh, no, that's that one I don't need to do. Um, I do have the card, the sea turtle, which I think is going to be cool. So I can use a sea turtle to draw a card, and then I can um, do a discover or a uh, um, dig action with a discount of the boat. So I got a bunch of boats. Oh, maybe I could go. Man, that would be nice to banquet or overcome that. Okay, the discount of a boat gets me here. I'm gonna go here. Discount of a boat that pays for that. I immediately get a time and an arrowhead. Uh, this goes away. I draw a card. Okay, and then to overcome, I would play a boot and a gem. Now again, the boots you can use any anything above the boot, which I may use this here. Do I really want to pay that gem? I feel like I worked so hard to get that gem because <laughs> the gem will get me up here. Oh, man, I can always come back. Let, let's let's come back to that. Okay. Uh, they are going to block the space with uh, time tokens right there. Uh, back to me. If I go here, I get time token. If I go here, I get three time tokens. Um, oh, what was that? I had a card here. Okay. Okay, that gets me. Okay, I'm going to play star charts. Um, it costs me a tablet and a coin, and I get to activate two of these sites here. So I'm gonna activate um, this one to get two tablets. And then this one, I have to discard a card. Do that one there. Okay, back to the AI. Oh, it's level five. Uh, level five, I'm playing the easy 
uh, one with the green, so they don't um, do any um, do any action this turn. Okay, activate any site. Okay, let's activate. Oh, let me see. Uh, I've got two of those. I'll use the effect on the gold side of one. Oh! Okay, what's the gold side here? Time, discard. That's just straight. Got that. This is do a trade and get a time. Ooh, that's sort of cool too, though. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to activate... I'm going to activate any level one site. Or I can do, let's see, level one would get me those, those. Can I do the tradesies? Where's the trade option? Oh, it was this one. Okay, so maybe I'll do this one instead. Um, this one costs three, but I, oh, I don't have a discount, so I do have to use all three cards for all three time. Who? Okay, well it does give me, okay, I'm gonna activate this for the three time tokens. We're, we're going all in here. Use the effect on the gold side of one available on the board here. So this is, I'm gonna use this gold side here, which is draw a card. Okay, and okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, back to the AI, they get a monster or overcome guardian, which isn't available. So they're just gonna move up the track. On round, round five, do they not do this on round five? Maybe they don't. I don't think they do, so that's gonna... Okay, cool. Friendlier game. Um, I'm going to use a ceremonial rattle. So I spend... Wait a second, maybe I can... Yeah, I'm gonna activate this. Activate any level one site. So that can get me an arrow. An arrow, or I can get two of those. going to activate uh, this site here. So two tablets and a gold coin. Tablets and a gold coin. Oh, it's supposed to go back here. Okay, do I have... I need time now. Maybe the coins I shouldn't be doing. Maybe instead of that, one, two. Let me, let me rewind that. I should probably activate um, this one with the two time instead. Because time is definitely more valuable at this point. Time. Okay. Then we do the AI. They block off a spot with a gold coin. Should be right there. Um, wow, I'm thirsty. Okay. Uh, back to me. Oh, boy. I don't think I'm going to make it. I wish I could say I'm going to make it. But. Two time. Uh, oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to move this one up. So I move here. I'm researching. It costs a coin and a gem. This allows me to grab three time. Two, three. Three. Okay, back to the AI. They are going to research. It says here, does this not happen on level five? I'm assuming this the X through the five means they don't do anything, or they don't do that. Okay, so back to me. Um, this one cost me two, so this one I'm gonna get a free. Ooh, do I get a free one? That might be a free temple track, friends. Yeah, I mean a free artifact, which would be very nice. Let's see if it's on the player aid here. Gain enough for skipping this time. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna move up here. So my, again, I can be the same spot with those two. Uh, it costs me two tablets and an arrowhead, and I gain any artifact for free. Okay. So drop to two cards from the bottom of my deck. Relocate. Okay, there it is. So I can relocate that one and get a gem. That'll get me up. Ooh, if I can get a couple more gems. Oh, I'm so close. Okay, 
I am going to let's see, drop the two cards on the bottom of your deck. Keep one. Draw the other. Or I can take this. This gets twice. No, I am going to do the Pathfinder sample. So relocate a placed one to one of these. I'm going to go here to activate it. So I just discard one. that got my um, discard that for a gem and then AI they're gonna block a spot with a gem which is I think they're all taken up yeah okay back to me I just saw this one come out so I get a fear but I get that gem which I really want because yeah, you know what? I'm gonna buy it now um, two time for this one I get a fear card but I'll take that fear card because I get a gem this gets refilled, and then it's the AI's final turn. They are going to take the least expensive artifact, which is a three. Yep. They are done for the game. Now it's just me, folks. Okay. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, I'm going to move up the track here. Oh, I need a... Shoot. Okay. Um, Boo Urns. So I'm going to need um, a couple of things here. I'm gonna go here, and it costs me a boot, so I gotta spend this. Um, I get two tablets. Okay, uh, still my turn. I'm gonna use a tablet and a gem to move up this track here. So I get a time token. And then, oh my gosh, yeah. Yep, we got enough. One time, Brian Beer, uh, Beer Gaming, thanks for joining. Hey, well, keep me to give this game a try. It looks like it would be 100%. I if I love worker placement and I love deck building when it's used as a you know on a board game, like pure deck builders. I think they're they're cool, but I really prefer deck builders that have a board to it. And this is a really cool combination. I, I think it's a really good mix. It's it's I think it's fantastic. My first playthrough, by the way, um, and I'm doing terrible, but we'll see. Um, so I'm gonna move up this track here. I've got a gold coin, a time, and a gem. So I go there, so I grab this one, and it is a trade Z. So this trade Z one, um, you make, make one of these trades, um, a tablet for an arrow or an arrow for um, a gem, <clears throat> which I don't think I'm going to be able to do. Oh man, that would be nice if I could do it though. What can I, I can trade this for an arrow. Yeah, okay. So I am going to trade, uh, this gets discarded, I trade a tablet for an arrow. And let's see, what do I have? Can I do anything else? That's two. Do I have, no, I don't have a discount. If I moved up here, no, nope, I can't move there. I could move here. No, I couldn't. Okay. So it looks like my final move, I've got three of these. It'll reveal the top tile, activate it, put it back on the bottom. Uh, I could go here and sort of gamble and see what this gives me off this stack. Reveal the top tile of this stack, I need to activate and get stuff. Um, or I can just play it safe and get two points here because I have that. No, you know, we got to gamble, folks. So I'm paying three time tokens. I reveal the top tile and activate it and put it on the bottom. Hey, I get a thing and a thing. <laughs> I get a tablet and an arrow. This goes to the bottom. Okay, this gets refilled. Hey, thanks, Livers. Have a good night, friend. Okay, and now, so I've got two arrows. Oh man, no, I don't. Yeah, two arrows, a couple of four gold coins, and a tablet. Um, can I do anything else? I don't have any free actions. I've gone through all my cards. I've done all that. I think I'm done, friends. Oh my gosh. I really wanted to get up all. Well, I really wanted to cash in on one of those. Um, 
that's it. That's it, folks. So this uh, level five. Now we're gonna score. Uh, let's go to the score part of the rule book. Again, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me tonight and you know sticking around as I uh, learn the game. This is this is a uh, learning game for me. Uh, where is the box? The box is right here. It has a score pad. Bust out. Where's that score pad? There it is. Okay, uh, score pad is out. Uh, I need a pen. Who's got a pen? I got a pen in here somewhere. Maybe it's over here. Ooh. Okay. All right. So Ruel versus the AI. Okay. So let's do uh, my score first, which is. I don't know. I'm a little nervous about this. I, I wasn't efficient in a bunch of spots, and hopefully, but I'm, I'm getting the hang of it. I, I felt like I was picking some some stuff up as we go, or as we as we play it. And I feel like the next time, right? Okay. Each of your research token scores points based on its row. Uh, magnifying glasses and lost temple roll will score points based on the order in which they reach the lost temple. Okay. So uh, this part here, uh, I made it here. Okay. So I get 23 points for that. And I made it here. Uh, it would be 12 if I got my magnifying glass, but I got eight here for the uh, notebook. So 23 plus eight is uh, 31. And then the next, each of your temple tiles scores. So I did not get one of the temple tiles. That's where I, I was, you try to get these resources to trade in for these and I just did not have any. So I got zero for that, unfortunately. Uh, each of your idol scores three points, even if it's a slot. So on my, player board here I had one uh, temple token for three and then these were empty so I get five nine so let's see three six ten twelve points total from that and then uh, guardians um, I overcame oh I didn't oh I didn't vanquish or overcome any guardians boo so zero for that and then each item and artifact card has points on it so now I'm gonna go through all my cards and pick up the points we are scoring, Conrad. Yes, thank you for joining us. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty. So I have twenty, but I have fear. So I have one, two, three, four fear. Those are minus four each. So my final score is 43, 60, oh, let me see, three, what's 12 plus 31? That's 43 plus 20 is 63 minus four is 59. Okay, I don't know if that's good or not. We're even gonna find out. Cause now we got a score for the AI. They got a bunch of stuff on their board, which I'm not happy about. <laughs> okay, um, so their score, they have it here. So they got 12 for their magnifying glass. Uh, they did not get any of these, thankfully. Um, oh, they're tiles. No, they're temple tiles. They're going to score three for each unique and then nothing for the non-unique. Or and then they score two for the non-unique. So they have three, six, nine, twelve, plus two is fourteen. Okay, now vanquish mon- or I, want, I always want to say vanquish. They, they use the term overcome. The monsters or the guardians they overcame are worth uh, five each so they overcame two monsters for ten and then they score points for cards okay they have a ton of cards which I'm a little worried about okay uh, one two four five seven eight ten eleven thirteen fourteen okay and they don't collect fear so nothing for fear so they had 26, 36, wait a second, is this right? 28, 38, 40, 50, oh, friends, I, I, I think I won. Uh, 58 to 50, 59 to 50. Now, I did have a question on one of the rules here where, and again, this is easy, so some of these here, that it did say like, you know, level five, they don't, you, you don't do this on level five. If they would have done, I know they would have gone up here. So that's another four points on this track. What was the other one? That one, they would have gone another track. So yeah, 
that's another five points. So that, oh, that we would have been tied. Uh, this one they don't do. So yeah, on the easy level, folks, I won. Yay. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. It's a learning game. Um, I really like this. I'm a big worker placement fan. And then when you throw in the deck building, I like it. Thank you, Amanda. GG. Uh, let me turn down the music here. This is, I'm going to look, for, I'm looking forward to this playing multiplayer. The, I do like the solo though, because it's, as you saw, it's pretty, it's pretty easy to implement. I, I like it because you're just drawing the uh, action tiles for the AI and just blocking sp uh, spaces. And um, now I did play the easiest level. They have five tiles in here that are green. You can swap those in with red uh, tiles, which are basically the same, but a little more aggressive. So like for instance, this one, um, it says not to move up on during the fifth round on the temple track, but this one you do move up. So it's a little more aggressive, and they're going to score more points. Um, so you have to be even a little better. So, hey, I, I feel good. I, I Even though I'm okay with winning on a beginner level, folks, I, I, I like it. Um, <laughs> I will take it. But thank you, friends, for joining me on this impromptu Monday night stream. This has been me, myself, and Monday. Uh, my name is Ruel Gaviola. This is Tabletop Tonight. I'm going to be back tomorrow with Aaron from Game Enthuse. We are hanging out. We're going to talk to him because it's Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Where's the sign? I have a sign. There it is. Uh, it's Taco Tuesday tomorrow. So we're going to talk to um, Aaron, just talk about how he got into content creation, talk about games and so forth. And then we're going to play Mystic Veil vale on Steam, and we're giving away a bunch of codes too. I think we're giving like three, I think three codes for the Steam version, which we're going to play I love it. It's a beautiful implementation of the game. It's great. Um, so please join us tomorrow at 7 p.m. Pacific back here on Tabletop tonight uh, on my Twitch channel. Thanks again for hanging out, folks. Let's find someone to raid. And yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> I really enjoyed this game. And oh, nice. I just played. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, man, I just played uh, Mystic Bell on uh, Yucatan today with Kovre. Nice. Uh, Tyler and um, oh my gosh, Tyler and uh, Ilya. That, that's so cool. Um, I haven't played it. I've, I've only played the Steam version and the real version or the analog version. So I'm looking forward to hanging out with uh, Aaron tomorrow. That's that's cool, Amanda. Um, let's raid Kawaiju Plays. Thank you. Friends, we are going to raid Kawaiju. Uh, Julie's awesome. She's uh, streaming now. She's an affiliate here on Twitch now. Uh, stick around for the raids. It's just going to take me a, a minute. And then I'll see you all tomorrow. All right. Have a great night, everybody. Bye now. So much for the raid, look at that.